even show up for his match at Forbidden Door. I mean, they, they used to be a power couple, but let's, let's be honest here, I really hope they never have kids, because those are going to be a bunch of weak little bastards. Oh, stop it. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. Let's get to it, y'all. So, um, let's talk about it. Um, Ruby Soho had a promo, and... Bro, Ruby Soho be killing it in all her promos. So one thing that I've been saying is this. It, it's kind of crazy that we haven't heard more promos from Ruby Soho. Like, the women in general sometimes don't get enough time on the mic, in my opinion. Like, they need to get more time on the mic. Um, Ruby should be on the mic. You know, it shouldn't have taken that long. I don't think, I don't think she's been on the mic in the ring. <sighs> I want to say maybe one other time than when she first joined the Outcast, and her promo was fire when she first joined the Outcast. She was drawing a lot of booze from the crowd, and um, they need to keep her on the mic because she's always been good. Going back to her NXT days, WWE days with the um, Riot Club, bro, she's always been good on the mic. So they need to keep her on the mic, and I'm glad that. And the crazy thing, she would have never got on the mic if Britt Baker didn't have this illness, which is the shame of this whole thing, is that if Britt Baker never got injured, we would have never gotten this great promo from Ruby. So Ruby pulls up another great promo, man. And this time she was talking to Baker. And Baker wasn't in the ring with her, visible or anything, because ba Baker's out with the illness. But it was a great promo. And basically, you know, she basically talked to the fans. You know, she got on the fans and... uh did the same thing Jack Perry did by getting on the uh, the country. She called her, uh, she said <laughs> that Baker was actually sick due to the filthy filthiness of the country. You know, they've been having the wildfires and everything like that coming from Canada. But uh, Soho said the match will take place next week because Baker seems to get whatever she wants. So she really kind of don't believe that Baker um, was actually, you know, out with the illness. Now, I don't know in real life if, you know, Baker... It was really ill or whatever, but, you know, and they didn't say what type of illness it was. They didn't say if it was like a cold or a stomach flu or whatever, a stomach virus. Like, they didn't, they didn't really go over what kind of illness it was. But she added that Baker's boyfriend didn't even show up for his match at Forbidden Door, Adam Cole, man. And this is where she really, like, she really went rogue right here. She talked about, uh, like, if, if Adam... And Britt ever had kids, bro. She said their kids would be weak just like they were. I was like, damn, bro. I was like, damn. And, and Ruby Soho said Baker is a shell of her former self. And in a way, Ruby isn't wrong because Baker has been, like, really lacking, like, since last year. You know, Jamie Hayter ended up getting the title and everything. Like, ba Baker has not been dominant, you know, in a long time. And so Soho said the fans shit on Baker if she sneezes in the wrong direction. She was getting on the fans um, about Baker, right? So she was kind of defending Baker, which is weird, uh, a couple of times in this promo. But, um, but, but, but Soho said Baker will be here in the finals of the Owen Hart Cup tournament. And if she uses the lockjaw on Britt Baker, that'll be pretty good. I hope she uses that if she does win. She said she will take away her chance to become a two-time winner, bro. Oh, man. And see, this is interesting. I think I mentioned this when Sky Blue won. I think I meant, I, I might have I might have missed this. Or I might have mentioned it when Britt Baker was looking backstage at Forbidden Door. I, I thought I mentioned this, though, but y'all can back check for me. Y'all can, can fact check me. But I remember saying that Britt Baker might win it two times because I really believe that Sky Blue is not the one to win. I think Britt will win. Um... But wouldn't it be amazing if Ruby Soho actually somehow won that cup? I think they could go in a lot of different directions. I don't feel like Willow Nightingale or Athena will win on that side of the bracket. But it's going to be interesting to see what they do with this match, man. Because, like I said, Sky Blue, being a babyface, is the one that's waiting on Britt Baker or Ruby Soho. So will it be babyface versus babyface or will it be heel versus babyface, man? I got the poll... In the community tab for y'all to vote in. Make sure y'all vote in that poll. It's going to be there all week for y'all. Y'all might have to scroll because I'm going to have a lot of polls on top of that. It's Money in the Bank this weekend. So I'm probably going to have some Money in the Bank polls. So definitely dig when y'all go down. Because I'm not going to repost that poll since enough of y'all already voted already.
So make sure y'all dig in there and get it. But yeah, man, it's gonna be interesting to see. So we're gonna get this. Hopefully, we get this match next week. Hopefully, ain't no. We gotta cancel this match for the no. I wanna see. I wanna see, man. I'm I'm so interested in seeing who wins this match, bro. But so far, good momentum for Ruby Soho, man. I'm liking what I'm seeing from this. But going ahead and get his uh give me your thoughts on this. Hit that like button for me. Hit that like button. Uh share the video, subscribe to the channel, y'all. We're gonna go over on Rampage. I think Tyre Valkyrie faces Hakara Shida. I might be I might have time to go over that match over the weekend, man. So be on the lookout for that. Thank y'all for watching. After news to like.